I had an announcement to make today. The Bishop of Penrith, as Acting Bishop of Carlisle, has appointed the Reverend David Wilmot, at present Rector of Grasmere, Vicar of Rydal and Chaplain to Rydal Hall, as Team Vicar for the benefits of Cartmel Peninsula Team Ministry, with special responsibility for Granger and Sands and Field Broughton with Lindell. Uh, the latest information I have is that the induction will take, take place on the 30th of April at Grange. We just have a moment of prayer for David and his family. Lord Jesus, we ask that you stay with David and his family at this time when they move. And we especially ask that you help us in this transition to having a, a full incumbent to look after us at St Peter's and at St Paul's in Grange. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I've got the first hymn. So let us stand and sing the first hymn, which is number 34 on Jordan's Bank. <laughs> our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with a humble, lowly, penitent and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do 
when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying with me, Almighty and merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy word, and have not kept thy covenant. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, which we have been Spare our men, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are believed, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Jesus Christ our Lord. And grant to this merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins, and serve thee with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. <coughs> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Praise ye the Lord, the, the Lord's, Lord's name, name be praised. We remain standing to say the Venite. O come, come, let us sing unto the Lord, let us heartily rejoice, rejoice in the strength of our salvation. salvation. Let, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King of our four gods. In his hand be all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hand prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord of our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. If you could turn to the centre of your pew sheet, please. We haven't got them in bold, but because it's quite long, we will do alternate verses because we're also saying all the other things. So um, if you could do the even verses with me, please. Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my residences, and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You press, you press upon, upon me behind and before, before and, and lay your hand upon me. me. Such knowledge is wonderful, it's too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. For you, you yourself created my inmost hearts. hearts and you knit me together in my mind. Mind. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful, and I know it well. My, My body was not hidden from me, while I was being made in the secret, secret and woven in the depths of the earth. earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs, yet unfinished in the womb. All of them were written in your book. <coughs> they were fashioned day by day, when as yet there was none of them. How deep I find your thoughts, 
How great, How great is this song? If I were to count them, they'd be more in number than the sand. To count them all, my lifespan would need to be like yours. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Be sick for the first week. <coughs> <coughs> the first reading is taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 3, reading the first ten verses. <coughs> the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. And then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call, lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, <coughs> Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you, my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. <coughs> now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Here ends the first lesson. <coughs> We'll stand and say the first section of the TV. <coughs> we praise thee, O God. God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. Lord. All who earth 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 thee, the Father everlasting. To thee, the all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all, all the powers therein. To thee, the cherubim and seraphim, continually do cry out. Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory and your glory. Please sit for our second Second reading is written in the uh, book of John, chapter chapter one, beginning at the forty third verse. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, "Follow me." Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathaniel and said to him. We found him about whom Moses in the law and all the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you come to know me? And Jesus answered, 
I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathaniel replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly, I tell you, you will see the heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Here ended the lesson. We stand to say the jubilato. <laughs> oh, be joyful in the Lord, all you members. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord is your God. It is he that has made this, and not we ourselves. We are his people, people and the sheep of his pasture. Go, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and go into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and to speak the Lord his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Lord, Lord, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under the Pontius Pilate, who was crucified by death, and death and buried, he descended into hell. The third day, day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From the next you shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. <coughs> Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the King, and mercifully give us all upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and, and bless thy inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us. O oh God, may clean our hearts within us, and, and take not our Holy Spirit from us. <clears throat> the colic for today, the second Sunday of the evening. O oh Lord, rise up, raise up, we pray thee, thy power, and come among us, and with thy great might suffer us. But whereas through our sins and wickedness we are sore led and hindered in running the race that is set before us, thy bountiful grace and mercy shall speedily help and deliver us through the satisfaction of thy Son, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory now and forever. Amen. The second college for peace. O oh God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the third point for grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, 
You have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with thy mighty power. And grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger. But that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always as is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We sing our second hymn, which is number 83, As the this Men Lord, leaving out verse 2. of our minds and the feelings of our hearts be forever acceptable in your life. Amen. <coughs> so we have a, a, a calling this morning in the readings um, and we have this idea that, that God sees us before we're even made as, as was, was quite clear in both the psalm and in the readings. I saw you under the fig tree, and you will see so much more, um, is what Philip is told. There's also a lovely, almost banter in the Second Testament reading between where Nathaniel says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? It really feels very authentic. This is a story about people being called to follow Jesus. And in seeking the best way to follow Jesus, we can get worried about um, whether or not we are giving freely or, or whether we're giving of the right amount of our time and energies. And what we are being told is that we will um, see so much more and gain so much more from that. Um, I just want to read a bit from the Book of Joy, which of course um, is the 
the interviews between the Dalai Lama and um, Bishop Desmond Tutu, who's sadly not, not with us anymore. Um, and this chapter is called Generosity, We Are Filled With Joy. And I want to link it to our upcoming 130 year celebration of St Peter's, which is the last weekend of June, um, which we are putting the final sort of touches, um, Louis Shrapnel and myself um, are, are doing that. I think that almost all of us are surprised how our joy is enhanced when we make someone else happy. You know, you go to town and you've gone to do some shopping. And when you get back home, you find a bunch of you have a bunch of flowers for Rachel. She wasn't expecting them, and the glow of her face and the joy that comes from having made another person joyful is something that you can't actually compute. So, the Archbishop said with a laugh, our book says that in giving that we receive, that it is in giving that we receive. So I would hope that people would recognise in themselves that it is when they are, we are closed in on ourselves that we tend to be miserable. It is when we grow in a self-forgetfulness in a remarkable way. I mean we discover that we are filled with joy. I sometimes joked and said God doesn't know very much math because when you give to others it should be that you are subtracting from yourself. But in this incredible kind of way I've certainly found that there is an, a case so many times you gave and it seems like in fact you are, are making space for more to be given to you. And there is a very physical example. The Dead Sea in the Middle East receives fresh water, but it has no outlet. So it doesn't pass the water out. It receives beautiful water from the rivers, and the water goes dank. I mean, it just goes bad. And that's why it is the Dead Sea. It receives and does not give. And we are made much that way too. I mean, we receive and we must give. In the end, generosity is the best way of becoming more, more and more joyful. The theme for the St Peter's weekend, the last weekend of, of June, is going to be um, all the talents. So it will be music and art and flower display and so on. And one of the things that we're thinking, though it's early, early, early days of this, is to make this a, a link to the history of this church and of other things that were happening at the time 130 years ago. So we are going to be calling on people for the gift of their talents to help make that a memorable weekend. Um, and, and so it, it, it made sense to, to link that to, to that. So watch this space for, for more on the last weekend, the St Peter's weekend. We will still do tower visits and and tea at one cake, of course. If you could take your order of service, please, um, and turn to the back page, the very back, we'll say the prayer of St. Benedict together. O oh, gracious and holy God, give us wisdom to perceive you, intelligence to understand you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you, through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We're going to sing our third hymn, Joy to the World, number 57.
Let us pray to the Father, who through the Son has opened the way to heaven. May your church be always alert in your service, ready to answer new calls for the coming of the Kingdom. Lift up our hearts to adore the Lamb who was slain for our salvation. We bring before you all the places where there is conflict, war and unrest, and for the people there living in fear and horrific circumstances. We pray for peace and reconciliation. Help us to remember that we are all yours, whatever cultures and backgrounds. We pray for those seeking to bring relief to those in need because of man-made or natural disasters, war-torn areas and those suffering from climate change. We pray that politicians, those in authority, will work steadfastly to alleviate the problems and disasters and a way forward for peace. We hold before you now Gaza, Israel, the Ukraine, Ecuador, and many other places, and flooded areas in this and other countries. Lord, in your mercy. We pray too for those affected and hold before you our National Health Service with all the difficulties they are facing during these challenging times. We pray for strength to cope and an end to the unrest. We pray for those affected by the problems facing, they are facing, long waiting times, cancelled operations and the distress caused. <coughs> Lord, in your mercy, Amen. have mercy on the aged, those in failing health, children who are frightened, especially those who are injured and have lost their parents and family members. We pray for those who mourn or are suffering in any way, in mind and body. In a moment of silence, we bring before you now any whom we know. Lord, in your mercy. In a time of quiet, we thank you for all the many blessings and things we have to be grateful for in these uncertain times when there is so much distressing news. We pray that we will be able to hope and trust in you. We give thanks for all who have grown old in your service and have passed rest 
Give us grace to follow their example and be vigilant to the end. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of all souls, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and does promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as be, may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us say the grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all, evermore. Amen. Amen. We stand to sing our offertory hymn. Which is 386, Be Thou My Vision.
The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>